Hi, my name is Keith Littleton. I'm here at Jones Technical Institute in Jacksonville, Florida, trying out our new Google Glass. What I'm going to do today is do a basic class on uh, diagnostics so we can kind of see how these things work. We're going to do some board work, we're going to do some demonstration work, some in car stuff so we can just see the, the clarity and how we're going to be able to use these in, in our day to day uh, instruction. So let's get started. Okay, I have the uh, key on and I also have a wireless interface up underneath the dash here you can see this so what this basically does it sends a wireless signal out to a scan tool or a tablet or your phone whatever you want to uh, communicate with so let's walk out here what our students are going to be using is a tablet and I've already got the tablet interface so we'll we'll back up a little bit just so we can see the clarity of this thing okay so this is what our main menu is going to look like we, let's make sure we're still communicating with the uh, interface, and it is. So let's uh, let's take some diagnostic trouble codes and see see what we have here. And it looks like we have a stored DTC PO118, which is engine coolant temp sensor. So what we're going to do today is kind of uh, show you the components underneath the hood, but that's kind of difficult to do. So what I've done is I've taken those components that have to deal with that particular diagnostic trouble code right here on the table. So we have a powertrain control module, we have wiring, and we have the sensor. So in a basic snapshot, what, what this circuit does is it tells the computer what temperature the engine is. And it does that by changing the resistance in the circuit by temperature. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pull the, let's go back over here to the uh, scan tool and pull up some data. Okay. So now what we're looking at here, I don't know if you can see this. I know I can. And let's see here. Change that to Fahrenheit. So it looks like we're looking at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that doesn't sound right. Let's play that. Okay, there we got some good data. We got 73 degrees. Okay, so down here, I don't know if you can see my hand going in there, but I've disconnected the engine coolant temp sensor. Okay, and there's that connector. So let me show you what I'm actually doing. What I actually did there, underneath the hood, I basically just did that, okay? So that same connector you're looking at there is the one that we're looking at underneath the hood. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if this circuit and the PCM can recognize different resistance when I when I put the resistance at, you know when I change the resistance at this connector. So what we're going to do right now, the the scan tool is saying negative 40 degrees. Well, that's a good thing because we are an open circuit. Okay, with an open circuit, that's what it's going to show. Now, if I take a jumper like this because right now we have a lot of resistance because there's, it's not even connected. So now I'm gonna jump it just like that. I don't know if you can see that in there. See the little jumper? Okay, now that I've jumped the circuit, I don't know if you can read that. It shows 284 degrees, okay? So basically what happens here is, depending on resistance in the sensor, is gonna change what the computer thinks. So. During our diagnosis, if you open the circuit and it goes to negative 41, and then you jump the circuit and it goes to 284, what that basically means is the wiring and the computer are functioning properly, and if you have a diagnostic trouble code and the cooling system is functioning properly, then it's gotta be the uh, uh, coolant temp sensor which is defective causing that code, okay? So let me, uh, let me go up to the board and we'll demonstrate that real quickly. Okay, so basically you have your PCM, you have your wiring, and your sensor, which is your ECT, okay? So when everything is cooked up, hooked up correctly, let's say this is 1,500 ohms, that might be uh, 70 degrees, okay? But when I open it like that, the resistance goes very high, and then it shows a negative 40. That means the computer can notice a open circuit. Now if I jump it, 
like that, and it goes to 284 degrees, that means that the computer can notice a low resistance circuit or a completed circuit. So what that means is, is this portion of the circuit is okay, that must be the defective part on the vehicle. So basically, that's how you diagnose by simulation um, an engine coolant temp sensor circuit. So hopefully uh, everything you saw in here was very clear and we got to see the scan tool. We got to see our basic circuit here. And inside the vehicle, we could actually see some detail stuff like using our interface up underneath here. So we could actually get up underneath the vehicle and do things in here. And we'll take a look at this video and see how it turns out.